Hey guys, making another video about the Illustrative DNA update, which um, I really wanted to just give another plug to because I think it's a great update and the site has a lot of potential. Um, I think because they're going to continue to update the uh, samples, uh, ancient and modern samples as new uh, genetic studies uh, are released and the DNA samples are added to the databases. So. I just wanted to share, uh, in my previous video, I shared some of my results from the Ancestry breakdown for Ashkenazi. Um, and they use different population, ancient population references for the different categories. And I just wanted to share my results very quickly for the global um, breakdown, Ancestry breakdown. And um, I think the fit's pretty good at 1.774. and. My, uh, the top population is Phoenician, 1,000 to 330, 330 BC at 57.6%. And this is using my Nebula kit. And the results I showed you uh, before were from my um, Ancestry kit. And, uh, the, and these are uh, based on the global 25 coordinates that I provided to them. And then you see Germanic at 25.6% uh, and Iberian at 16.8%. Uh, so I do think that the, uh, the Phoenician, um, it's probably a little high on this one uh, compared to the Ashkenazi average, but uh, it does show the, there is a large, I just want to make it very clear that there is a, a large, and it's, it's usually, if not always, the, the biggest component that you will find in Ashkenazi Jews and fully Ashkenazi Jews, and I'm an Eastern Ashkenazi Jew um, with ancestry from Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania, etc., and so it's going to show that, you know, generally almost always the biggest component um, at their varying percentages uh, is going to be um, Levantine. It's going to be, uh, you know, Canaanite, Israelite, Phoenician, which are all sort of the, the peoples of the, uh, the uh, region of Canaan in the eastern Mediterranean. And then you're going to see the diaspora mixture, which can vary. So this is showing Germanic and Iberian. And then I also just wanted to show, you know, how even those results can uh, can vary. Um, so this is my this is using my ancestry kit, and this is the global um, results 1.868, and you can see the map there, and you can see here, and I'll simplify it. When you can see the Phoenician there at 53.4 percent. Continental Celtic, it gives me at 43.6%, and then Athabascan at 3%. So, you know, even those kinds of results can vary. So, again, and have fun. Um, you know, it's going to change. Just be ready for the, as they add more populations or subtract populations to try to tweak it and get it right. Um, for each category, your results will change. But just wanted to share that. And thanks, thank you for watching.